This is a tutorial on how to essentially move data from one PlayStation Vita memory card to another. It's actually a lot easier than uh, than uh, I originally thought. All I have to do is go into your control panel, click this arrow up here. It just went away. How dare you? It just disappeared completely. Go to all control panel items. Go to <coughs> file explorer options. Go to view. <coughs> um, show empty drives. I did uh, all this. Show extensions. Um, show hidden files, folders, and drives. And uh, uncheck hide protected operating system files and click OK. <coughs> By doing this, um, it will show all the hidden files inside the PS Vita that you normally wouldn't see when you use Vita Shell to view the um, <coughs> data on the PS Vita. This is everything that's on the little uh, memory chip that's inside your PlayStation Vita. So um, what you only have to do is copy your whole um, H file. <coughs> well, you'll copy the whole um, entire set of files here to your desktop. And once you do that, <coughs> you're going to want to turn off your PS Vita, switch to the memory card that you're trying to clone to. Um, of course, install Vita Shell there again. And uh, once you do that, that's really good. And once you power up the PS Vita with the <coughs> new memory card in it, highlight all these. It's your computer. Um, go to into your PlayStation Vita. Go into your H folder. And literally copy everything from your memory card that you're trying to uh, transfer over to the new card and literally overwrite everything uh, merge all the files <coughs> um, and it should all work it <coughs> it will merge every game that's on your old memory card and if you have games already on the card it will merge with them. Um, adrenaline. I ended up. Uh, I ended up actually um, merging two file, two different adrenaline files with it. So I'm gonna have to remove all that so I can uninstall the old one and install the new. Once everything is copied over. You must do this. Um, go back to, to the main screen of your PS Vita. You'll see some new um, icons on your screen, but not everything will be there. You must go to your settings bubble. Go in there. Go into H Henkaku settings. Um, and hit unlink memory card. Then restart the PS Vita. By doing that, you're forcing the PS Vita to rebuild its database, which means it will read the new data and put new icons on your screen. And uh, after doing all that, you, you, sh you should have uh, successfully um, moved all your data from essentially an 8 gig chip a 64 gig chip or whatever chip you're upgrading and that's it